I want to insert the record. The syntax that which we use to insert the data into the table is insert into table values and you have to enter the value. Insert into it's going to be the keyword where you will insert. Whether you will insert in product table or you will insert in customer table. That is what this will say. That is what this will say. Table name. Table name. Then values is a keyword. This is a keyword. This is a keyword. This is a keyword. And within the bracket, you enter all the values. OK, the syntax will be insert into. Insert into table name. What is a table name? Customer TV. After customer TV values. After values, after values, I have to enter the values. If it is any integer number, just give like this. This is a ID. Next is a customer name. Customer name is in the varchar, so everything has to be coming in quotes. Number, you need not give any quotes. For name related information or a varchar related data type, everything has to be coming in quotes. Okay. And again, location will be Bangalore. And Finally, customer contact. Customer contact, you need not give in quotes. Just give the contact number. That's all. what is error. Insert into customer table. One row affected. There is no error. It was successful. To check this, if the entry has happened to this table or not, just go and search the content in the customer table. The same person has been entered into the table. This is one entry. OK, now let us say now let us say I will insert few more. I'm just copy pasting it. OK, to save our time, I'm copy pasting this code. But the syntax will be I will write it one more time. First, I will write it one more time, then I'll copy paste it. Insert into customer table. Okay, then values or IT related information or integer information. Don't give quotes. Name related information, give quotes name related information give quotes okay so this is going to be 101 kiran this is not good to not to win and let us say this is again in quotes why in quotes it's var care okay then phone number phone number is not required in quotes so now what i will do i will select all three and i will run if i run all three Vinay, Dinesh, Satish has got entered without any syntax error. Without any syntax error. Now I'll go and run this customer table to see the content in the table. You have to write select star from customer table. Now I run this. The record has been stored. The record has been stored in the table. See, in the real time, I'm telling you, no one is going to do this manually insert. Okay, everything will come from the application. You go to Amazon, you tell that uh, I have to sign up for the first time. When you give the sign up, all the detail it will take, right? It will take your details like your phone number, email. Directly, they would have written a logic in some Java code or a .NET code that will directly enter into the table. But this is how at the back end it works. There is other way. OK, let us try what is the other way. I will write one more bracket here and within the bracket I will write. Customer ID. 
customer name customer location customer phone number a customer contact use this now what is happening i'll put it in the next line i'll put it in the next line okay what i've done what i've done insert into table is there after the table name within bracket i have given all the columns that is present now what happens 101 will go and sit in the first one suresh will go and sit in the second one goa will go and sit in the third one this will go and sit in the this one okay now let us run this insert into customer table i have given four i have given four okay first i did not give anything simply i gave values it worked now again what i am doing values is still there four values are there but this time i am specified the columns i have specified the columns this is the other way of inserting now if i go and see here to select the customer information Suresh would have come. Suresh would have come. Okay. Now, can I apply same concept to this account? This account. Now, the person is not interested to give phone number. Can I write like this? Customer. Customer. ID. See, I got an error because the values were not matching. Column count does not match because I'm just giving three records. Okay. So customer ID, customer name, then customer location. That's all it is. Now, what happens? Customer ID, this value will go and sit. Customer name, this value will go and sit. The second one. And the customer location, this value will go and sit. Now I'm not giving any phone number. Now let us see what happens. I did not get any error. How to delete a record? See, in your case, you're doing from the UI. In UI, you will go, you will select uh, like deactivation, delete an account, everything you'll do. But internally in database, this is how it happens. Okay. What it happens? Delete the keyword. That's why that's in blue color. From where you're deleting? Customer table. Delete from customer. From the UI, the customer may be telling that, okay, I want to delete this account or maybe I want to deactivate this account. In the back end, this is what the code it will be doing. Who is the person who wants to get deactivated? You have to write where summer ID equal to one not six. I have around seven customers. You have to tell the date table. You have to tell the table. Hey, only one person want to deactivate this account and his customer ID is one not six. Now what will happen? Just observe. Just observe. 101, 102, 103, 104, 106, 105, 107. 106 record is a person who has decided to who has decided to delete the account. Delete from the customer. There is no syntax error. It's executed. Now let's go and see the customer information where is suresh where is suresh he has been removed from this table this table holds all the active customer information but unfortunately the customer wanted to deactivate because he was purchasing more he felt that he is wasting a lot of money on this product he wanted to 
<clears throat> he wanted to move out of the Amazon and he wanted to go with any Flipkart or Snapdeal, something like that. What happened? He wanted to delete it at the back end. I am still a customer of Amazon, but due to this lockdown, due to this lockdown, I actually changed the location. I was in Bangalore. Since they have released a work from home permanently, I am thinking to go to my native and get settled there. Anyhow, my cost of living is going to come down. So any products which I order going forward, it should not come to my Bangalore location. It has to come to my locked or like the native place. What I should do? I need to call the customer care and tell that I want a change of address or manually you can do it from your let us say this person who was in Bangalore let us say they now went to Kerala I will go and update the data in the existing table it has to be updated okay so let us say update is a keyword after update table name in my case my table name is customer db after that set is there set column equal to value what column i need to update customer location equal to kerala kerala this location i want to update it to kerala basically i am telling i am telling hey hey table can you update this record for the 105 customer they have moved from bangalore to kerala from bangalore you need not give just update it to kerala updating is done with respect to set command now i will run this i did not get any error there is one row affected that is one changed okay let me go and run the table where was the 105 was person 105 person was in bangalore now did i delete the record no i have just updated rather than putting in the terms like where where condition is mandatory i will tell delete statement and update statement without a where clauses very very risky to run if you